before we size the pond, one way of sizing to see the requirements in a way, but I'll show you the, the shortcomings to it in a second, is if we select this pipe and we go to our link data, we can then go to controls and control the flow to 0.49, which is the development, uh, pre-development flow rate. That'll give us some idea of how big the pond needs to be in a way, and I'll explain just now. If we go to analyze network and we go to, we can keep all the settings, it's fine. Now, if we go over to the overflows, you'll see that you require a storage of 53, 53 cubic meters. But that is, a, that is 53 cubic meters when you are throttling, let's say 0.1 cubic meters per second. And you may be throttling more than 0.1 because as the water flows into your retention pond, you lose that momentum through the pipe. And therefore your outlet is gonna be a lot less than 0.49. And that means that your, your required storage will be a lot more than 50 cubes per second. And we'll explain, we'll do this in the practical sense and now. I'm going to go and create a pond over here. So I'd like to just use some construction lines. I'll go over to CAD. I'm going to use parallel lines. However, these lines that I'm going to be offsetting from are in 3D. So we first just need to trace them. I'm going to quickly trace these four lines that are sitting in 3D. I can then go and say, switch them to 2D. And now I'm able to go and draw parallel 1.5. I'm gonna go from there, there, here. And I'm gonna do 0 0.5. From here and from here. Now that I've got where I'd like to put the shoulder of the embankment and flowing into the ground. I'm going to go to terrain mode, terrain strings, and I'm going to create the string graphically. I can call this pond. I would like to interpolate on the ground surface and add intermediate drape vertices. So everywhere it crosses a break line, it inserts an extra vertice to do an absolute drape along that embankment shoulder. There are many ways to create your pond. I'm just doing one of the many methods. So I'm gonna go along those edges. I'm pressing I and enter on the keyboard to jump to the intersecting geometry points. I can then right click and say close. I now have this um, shape, but we need to create a pond inside here. So I'm gonna go to, before I can do that, I need to know what is my outlet level. So I'm gonna go click on this pipe or node, go to stormwater and go to data, look at my results. And my, I would like to have the pond's invert level at 88.602. Great, so we can go to terrain mode and we can go we can go to CAD mode and we can go to terrain, delete all the geometry, to keep it nice and tidy, and we can go over to terrain and we can go to strings and we can create the child string. It says click on the family, so we select the family, we click on which side, we click on inside the pond. And it says what do we want to grade to. So there's multiple ways of grading this. You could uh, create a shoulder, but we're going to grade it to elevation. So we're going to do one and two, and we're going to grade to 88.602. And there it's created the bottom of the basin for us. We can then go and right click render. You can see that it is in fact a stormwater retention pond, invert levels matching the bottom of the basin.
we would like to um, now convert this to a reservoir file to attach to our project so we're gonna go and say strings string editing translates to DTM I'm gonna select the family again and I'm gonna select to translate the strings and the feature lines and also the destination surface we're gonna save it to surface 2 Great, so now it's created it as a surface. We can actually go and switch off the strings. And you can see it's created this pond for us. Before we convert this to a stormwater pond, I would like to see uh, what my water level should be inside the pond. So I just want to see what is the lowest point on this pond if I go to terrain graphical and I go annotate elevation I can then choose to uh, create a elevation on the natural ground and I'll click on the different parts so the lowest point is 90.1 and I'd like a freeboard of 500 so I'm gonna go and say 